Welcome to the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network's webinar, How to Start a Support Group. Starting a food allergy support group may be one of the most rewarding experiences you'll have. In addition to sharing valuable information and advice, support groups help people connect with others experiencing similar situations. All it takes to form a support group is a little bit of determination and organization. Fan is here to help you get started. Remember, we're all in this together. If you have any questions or need any help, please let us know. Getting started. Before your first meeting, ask a healthcare professional to act as a medical advisor. The medical advisor will help ensure that the information discussed is medically sound to avoid confusion or misinformation. Create a flyer announcing your first meeting date, place, time, and the general focus of the new group. Post the flyer in the offices of allergists, pediatricians, and school nurses, as well as health food stores and other locations, with permission if needed. Ask people to let others who are living with food allergies know you're starting a group in their community. After the first planning meeting, the group should decide on a name, create a general mission or purpose statement, establish meeting times and places, and assign tasks. To create a mission or purpose statement, begin with a group discussion of common needs and goals, and let these direct the focus of the statement. Whether you decide on improving the lives of members and their families, educating the community, or some combination of goals, a mission statement is a good way to keep your group focused and inform others of the group's purpose. Once these details are decided, update your flyer with the new information and be sure to replace the first ones you posted. Establish some general guidelines for how the meetings will go, though they may change along the way. Designate someone to record any questions or controversies if the medical advisor is not present so that they can be cleared up before the next meeting. Collect email addresses and other contact information so you can communicate between meetings if important issues arise. For example, having a Yahoo Groups email group is another great way of communicating between meetings, as members may discuss personal stories, share recipes, recommend allergists and other physicians, recommend preschools and schools that are allergy friendly, recommend favorite allergy friendly vacation destinations, and much more. Once the group is established, Plan meetings in advance and set out the topics to be discussed. Popular topics include the truth about food allergies, sensitivities and intolerances, cooking the food allergy way, coping with the stress of raising a child who has food allergies, learning more about the psychosocial and emotional impact food allergies has on a child and turning a negative outcome into a positive one. Anaphylaxis, what is it and what can you do about it? Inviting guest speakers helps build attendance at meetings. Local allergists, EMTs, registered dietitians, school food service professionals, school nurses, psychologists, restaurant owners, local politicians, and high school and college students with food allergies will enhance any meeting. Members enjoy learning about how other professionals are instrumental in keeping their children safe. Enlist volunteers to assist in areas where they feel comfortable, such as preparing food and refreshments or keeping track of the mailing list. Enthusiastic people can help distribute materials to members in the local community with little added cost. Consider some basic publicity to expand a membership if you think your group could benefit from additional participants, such as reaching out to local newspapers. Many of them will run an ad for you for free because you are providing a community service. Start collecting books, DVDs, and other educational materials to create a lending resource library. FAN provides grants to support groups to help with this task. For more information, you may email Eleanor Garrow Micah, Vice President of Education and Outreach at EGARROW hyphen MAJKA at foodallergy.org. Finally, consider making your group more official by setting up a separate email account so your support group members can contact you. Some groups even create their own logo and website. Starting a food allergy support group brings many rewards. You'll get at least as much out of it 
as the other members do, and you'll make a real difference in the lives of families managing food allergies. Potential members looking for a support group can go to our website for a list of all U.S. support groups and contact information. To post your group on the FAN website, email Eleanor Garrel Micah and provide your group name, contact information, mission statement, and the medical advisor's name and address. Once your group is posted, others in your area with similar needs and concerns will be able to find your group and join. Thank you for attending How to Start a Support Group webinar. For more information, please visit our website at www.foodallergy.org or call 1-800-929-4040.